What's up guys? In this video, we got a two-stroke racing go-kart. Okay, so we're back. Here it is, all dusty and stuff. We'll have to clean it up a little bit. I'm filming with my phone, so in the next clips we'll probably switch to the camera. But it came with a bunch of expansion pipes, a bunch of sprockets, gear ratios, another front fairing. Or I don't know what they're called on go-karts, but... Clutches, engine parts, I don't know. Pedal grips. Pedal grips, that's sweet. The stand to put it on, so we'll get it on this. Start cleaning her up. All right, so here's a good look at it with the other camera. It's pretty cool. It's got that M on the seat. I like that a lot. So I think we'll get some pretty cool little shots of it before we clean it, and then we'll clean it up. We'll have to cover all this air intake stuff just to make sure the engine's all right, but we'll clean it, and then we'll try to get it running. Okay, so we got a rinse. Now we got the little soap done, so. Especially these blue little body panels, so. Yeah, Alright, so she's on the stand. Now let's try to get this thing running. Alright, so. This thing hasn't run in a couple of years, so we're really just trying to make sure that the gas tank is clean because we don't really want to pump any like harmful stuff into this engine, especially when we're trying to get it running. Um, and especially, I don't think the fuel system has a filter, so we really want to make sure everything's clean. So we'll yank this out and then we'll be good to go. Alright, so we literally just cut the fuel line, because, okay, I can't even, oh, and it just snapped, but, yeah, this stuff is, like, really brittle. Oh, well, I that can't break great. it, but. It's, it's like PVC. <laughs> yeah, so, what we'll do is we'll have to replace that, and typically people replace it, like, seasonally, so, it'll be good for us to replace that, because 
I mean, that's just more of a safety thing too. You don't want your line breaking. And we'll have to clean that up a little bit. Also, make sure you pick up your stickers. They're in the link will be in the description. They're like two bucks. Go pick one up. Help out the channel. They look pretty cool. All right, so now we're just getting some air in the tires. They seem to be pretty solid and new. The front ones have a little bit of dry rot, but I mean, as long as they hold air, that will be good enough for the parking lots for now. Okay, so now it comes to getting this engine running. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is a KT100 um, Yamaha two-stroke motor. It's it's um, 100 cc's and it makes like 15 horsepower at 10,000 RPM. So it's really a beast and it's going to be awesome on this cart. So we really want to try to get this thing running. So um, some basic information about two-stroke. There's like no, you don't put oil in it because like the crankcase and the piston and like the where it detonates is all like one chamber. So if you don't know that much about two strokes, you should definitely look them up because they're really cool and pretty efficient. So what we're gonna do is you have to mix gas with oil in a two stroke. So we got some AMS oil, two stroke oil, and then some high octane fuel because this is a racing engine. So we'll mix them up and put it in a bottle just for now so we can get fuel to the carburetor and we'll be good to go. So the cart came with these red pedal grip replacements. So we're just undoing the Allen screws on these ones and then we'll put the new ones on because they look much better. Yeah, they look actually really good. All right, so right now we're pouring out a little bit of gas so we can mix it with our oil. That way, in case this thing doesn't really run, it'll um, we won't waste a bunch of gas. We're replacing our, the battery in our exhaust gas temperature sensor and tack. I don't even know what this, how old this thing is. If you guys know, it's put it in the comments. Old. If you guys know like the exact model of this cart, and like see this head, it says BCR. If that's some sort of racing company, and this thing has like built parts in it, let us know because that'd be really cool, especially for like later on when we want to do tuning and stuff so and if we're doing anything wrong here let us know too because i mean blake's the only one here that's messed with two strokes and he's done a lot with two strokes like rebuilt and stuff but we are pretty new to two strokes so you guys are gonna love this so we got jumper cables from the battery the c10 going to the start box that's working. And then we have our makeshift fuel tank right here. Yeah, I mean, this is literally just only to get it running. Um, there's also, there's a low and high adjuster on this carburetor. So what we'll do is we're gonna go all the way in and then two and a half turns out and we're just gonna keep the high at the middle. And we're just gonna crank it over and try to get it started and hopefully we get lucky and she starts up. Okay, scratch the C10. We got the Land Cruiser because we got a better alternator. All right, let's give it a shot. So we're gonna try to see now if fuel is the issue, so we're just gonna spray a little bit of the starting fluid in it and see if she cranks up. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a loud. That is loud. Holy hell. <laughs> we also got this little bash bar. Warning, the Surgeon General has determined that racing is dangerous to your wealth. That is mint. And that just goes right there. And our carburetor diaphragm is messed up, so we need carb cleaner. Yeah, that'll fix it. Alright, so we're cleaning out the carburetor here. So hopefully fuel will be able to run through it easily. So now we're just bolting it all back up. So we got our carburetor all rebuilt and cleaned up. The owner actually had a ton of carburetor parts with this thing. So we used yeah, all of like those This parts. whole box is just full of carburetor parts. Yeah. So we just used all those. So yeah, 
We'll tighten everything up and we'll give it another shot. Still no fuel, so we gotta figure out what's going on. Yes. Well, cheer on. <laughs> oh my god, it's so loud. That's sick. Ooh. That's awesome. Let's just turn down the idle a little bit. Oh wait, not the idle, this stuff. This little screw right here. Oh, let's, let's, uh, here. No, this thing. Holy crap. There. Oh, that got stuck. Let's try it again. Yeah. <laughs> that might help. Alright, it'll, it'll start the now right away. Or I just like started. It is Sweet. so loud. It, it runs, runs really well though. That's awesome. That's, a, that's really good. It's got some RPMs to it, man. Yeah, that's like... That's like not even like yeah, a tenth of what it can do. They just give it a scream. How much <laughs> fuel do you think it's actually like? I think that's what I thought. We tried gravity then? Okay, so what we did is we're not getting fuel suction. So we replaced this line with just regular fuel line here. Because what happens here is there's suction from the engine and then the carburetor. Here's like basically the internal like fuel pump. And then that sucks it out of the gas tank. So hopefully now that I replace this line, it should have suction because there has to be a leak in the system somewhere. I feel a little lean, so we're going to turn it up. Huh? We have a pretty valiant attempt to get this thing running, but we're kind of lacking a little bit of two-stroke knowledge, and this is already a really long video, so I think we're gonna just cut it into two parts. You already saw this thing run, we already heard it run, so we're really excited for that. So now what we have to do is we're just gonna wait a little bit, maybe talk to you guys. Um, if you know what could be the issue with this thing not running, I, two strokes are kind of different, so if there's some kind of issue with that, let us know. We might get a compression tester or, some, or something like that, but the thing is it ran for a little bit, so that makes, that makes me think that the compression's fine. It's just, you know, sometimes it runs, sometimes it doesn't. It just, 
it sometimes it idles too so i think it might be a carburetor tuning issue i don't know let me know but we're really excited so in the next video of this thing it should totally be you know running and driving and we're going to be ripping it around i'm really excited though these two streaks these two strokes are insane super high rpm just screaming so i mean cool all right guys thanks for watching so the next phase of this thing, we're just going to get the little things like gas tank, new line, kind of tune up this carburetor a little bit or whatever you guys think or what we find out we need to get this thing running. But we're really excited to get this thing. Um, we got a pretty good deal on it, so it's going to be a fun little build series. Um, we've never messed with two-strokes before, and there's not a lot of two-stroke content on YouTube, so I'm excited to kind of venture into this. So thanks for watching. For more of this thing, be sure to subscribe. Uh, follow us on Instagram, Build Breaker Feet, and be sure to check out Go Power Sports. Thanks for watching.